I'm Tom from Do-It-Yourself Home Automation, and a lot of people who want to try the Amazon Fresh automated grocery delivery service wonder if they do this service um, and these groceries are being delivered from Amazon directly to their front step, um, they don't have to be home to receive them, how do they stay cold? So can you order things that are refrigerated or frozen and how do they keep them at a safe temperature? Um, and actually they, they do do a great job of keeping things frozen and fresh. Um, usually it's up to a few hours after the totes arrive. And I'm going to take a look at how they do that and how effective it is. So I've got here two Amazon Fresh uh, delivery totes that just arrived this morning. This one is one of the refrigerated ones and this one is actually a frozen one. Um, and I've got my multimeter here with a thermocouple so I can measure the temperature inside of these um, and if you take a look in with the refrigerated one first off or sorry this is actually the frozen one so we take a look in here with the frozen one the way they do this is they actually have um, this special uh, kind of insulated bag inside of there and then they actually put dry ice inside so if you look all the way down the bottom you can see there's dry ice and I have some sorbet and frozen broccoli um, that I ordered on there. And dry ice is extremely cold. It's about negative, I think, 130 degrees Fahrenheit. Um, so it should keep the inside here definitely at a safe freezer temperature. So I'm just going to put the thermocouple down in there. Let's pop them back out. Let's see. Okay, so that's nicely situated. I'm going to close that up. And then let's see what our temperature is. So you can see it's still dropping, but it's already under 32 degrees. So it actually is fully frozen inside there. Um, and you can see it's probably going to keep going down. Maybe it's around 20 degrees inside of that bag um, with the dry ice. So it is actually keeping those frozen items at definitely a safe frozen temperature. Um, and I found it'll sit for even a couple of hours and keep things like ice cream and sorbet totally safe and frozen inside there. Um, now let's take a look at the refrigerated tote. So this is actually a pretty clever system and they've done a lot of different versions of how to keep refrigerated items cold. But what they've settled on is they have these water bottles that they actually put in here and freeze and it becomes like a little ice pack. But the great thing is that then it's actually a drinkable water bottle. So when it uh, thaws out, you can actually take this out and um, drink it like a normal water bottle, but it's providing an, um, a kind of recyclable, reusable um, way to cool down the contents of this tote. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this uh, thermocouple in here, down there with some of my yogurt and milk. We'll close the bag up like it would have been when I received it. Now this one's at 52 degrees at the moment, um, so it's not quite at a safe long-term uh, refrigerator temperature, which would be generally 40 degrees and under. Um, but if you move it around inside there, or actually look at the contents of one of the packages in here, uh, it probably is at a safe temperature to be held for a little while. Um, again, not as much as the frozen, but um, this will probably keep you at a safe temperature for an hour or something like that um, after the items arrive. So, um, you know, you don't want to let it sit on your porch for a super long time. You certainly don't want to let it sit uh, out there if it's very hot outside. But in my experience, the frozen items actually do arrive totally frozen. Uh, they don't start to melt or anything like that. And you can see that based on the freezer temperature. Um, not quite as great of a temperature in here with the refrigerated items, but again, you know, you couldn't store it at that temperature at a long term, but for an hour or something, it's keeping it cold enough that it's probably safe and I can bring it into my house and put it away, um, you know, within maybe an hour or two after it arrives on my porch. Um, and sometimes if it's hot out or it's being delivered at a later time in the day, they'll actually use the same insulated tote with the water bottles for your refrigerated items to make sure that they do stay at that safe temperature. Um, so again, always bring things inside. Uh, you saw this isn't uh, long-term storage temperature. This one still is. The dry ice will sublimate and go away after a certain amount of time, though, so you do want to bring them in. But it does buy you some time for when these are delivered. You can, uh, you know, wake up if it's delivered at 6, and uh, when you wake up, you can put them in your fridge, and that's uh, an easy way to get automated grocery delivery, even of frozen and uh, refrigerated items. If you found this helpful in any way, please subscribe to my channel. It really helps.